Okay, there we go. Welcome back, everybody, to Coffee and Art in the Morning. We already did a part one with a lot of happy mail. Thanks, everybody, for sticking around. We did a couple giveaways with that, and uh, awesome happy mail. So I have a couple different things I have planned that I think I'm going to do. Because I got all these awesome napkins in one of the happy mail from, um, these are all from um, My Fairy Treasures Angie Bell. I'm thinking I just want to glue these down. Okay, so that one is this one, so I just need those three, those three. Uh, so I might want to glue these in my ginormous moly, Moloskina, that is just kind of like, I can just call it a, it's a junk journal type thing. I haven't really worked in it since I just sprayed some stencils and stuff. i got a couple of collage things in it, but I haven't really worked in it because it's really big. It's like 12 by 17, I think. So I'm thinking maybe we'll just do a little bit of that. Uh, the same thing that we we're talking about with using your color book imagery, like one of the books here, the nature one, like this one that Angie sent us. I say us because if you're here working with me, it's us. <laughs> but these are the kind of images that are awesome also to color and cut out and use in your art journals which i'll show a little bit of the one i've been working in just so you get an idea but i think i'm going to work in the ginormous one today but first let me show you some of the things i'm working in some of the color books so i have been working in a couple different ones you'll remember last week i started a page in the game of thrones and i don't think i've got much further than the black background but what I have done is started a couple other ones just to show y'all some progress on um, them. So here's the one that we were doing last week. And I think the only thing that I've added is I, I had already done a wash of Neo Color 2. Let me grab, let me get, make sure I don't bump my head on the overhang. A, a wash with the Neo Color 2 water soluble crayons. And again, I always stress the water soluble ones are the twos. The Karn Dosh Neo Color 2. Number the number one, just the plain Neo colors, are not water soluble. They're just crayons. So if you want them to be like watercolors, you got to get the Neo Color 2. So I did some washes here last week. It's recorded. And uh, then I just use a water brush, which was my water brush. I've got two water brushes, and I can't put my hand. Oh, there's one. Okay. I just use these little uh, Pentel water brushes. And uh, I did a little wash of the, uh, the blue there, these flowers, did some of his hair. And so I just kind of did a little bit of a wash with the neo colors then i went back on the banners here and put in some color pencil shading and again i do have i've not watched the show i've not read the books i have no idea if this is the correct colors for the correct houses of the thrones so you know i'm just coloring it i'm the boss of my color book i'm just coloring whatever color i want so whether he's supposed to be a blonde brunette or redhead i have no idea uh, but anyway, just so you can kind of see, so how far I've got so far, not very far on this one. And then what I've done is gone in here with black acrylic paint and filled in the back, the background. And I will probably put stars in here, white stars with a gel pen or uh, either a gel pen or a white acrylic paint. Let me find my gel pen. And just go in here and do some stars in the background. Got to keep cleaning off any paint you pick up. Just kind of show you a couple of the pages that I've worked on. They're not none of them are done. I'm just kind of showing you some progress so you can get some ideas on coloring, not necessarily even this particular book, but any of them. And uh, it just shows you that you can just do like washes of color and then go back with some detail that you don't have to color in like every one of those little tiny floral 
things, you can just do a wash of color and then just highlight them or pick out some of them. So I'll show you how I did that on another girl's dress here in a minute. So I would just go in here and put little white stars any place that, like it's night. Okay. All right, so there's that one that I'm still working on. Then I started another one here. I actually started two others. Again, this one, I left it right where it was with just the wash. And it's not even done with the washes yet. But I just wanted you to see um, how it looks before I do anything else. This is only just the wash. Just the Neo Color, Neo Color 2s. And uh, so the, she's going to have red hair, and it's also going to turn into the fire. And it's going to have dark smoke, so I used a purple for that. And then I thought a nice olive green for her dress would be a nice uh, contrast. And there'll probably be black in here as well, because I want this to be really dark and smoky. Maybe some orange. I don't know the story behind why she's, you know, setting something on fire. Don't y'all email me. I don't know. But that's how I'm going to interpret it. <laughs> ah, so anyway, um, it doesn't say. It just says, many called her beautiful. She was not beautiful. She was red and terrible and red. That's what it says. She was red and terrible and red. <laughs> so I don't know which character she's supposed to be. Somebody in chat asked me what character it was. Some of them say, like this one here, says it's Sir Loras. Okay, that one says, but this one doesn't. Okay, so again, I've got more red and orange and make it look more fiery. You know, maybe a little touch of yellow, but red and orange, and I'll go in there with color pencil, which will, you know, brighten it up. But I just put a wash on there for a couple reasons. It's it. You know, a wash just really works well for grabbing the color pencil, and I just use the Prismacolors for the most part. Um, I do have my uh, Luminance set of 20 that Eileen the Enabler Elf sent me, but I, you know, it's only got 20 colors, so I try to pick, use those as well. And yes, they do mix, so it's fine. Um, so, <laughs> anyway, so there's that one. And then the other one that I'm working on, Let's see, is it in the back or is it toward the front? Is this one? And I've added glitter. Okay, so this one says Sansa. Sansa or Sansa? Well, this is what it says. I guess it's Sansa. It wasn't fair. Sansa had everything. Sansa was two years older. Maybe by the time Arya, Arya, maybe that's Arya, had been born, there had been nothing left. Often it felt that way. Sansa could sew and dance and sing. She wrote poetry. She knew how to dress. She played the high harp and bells. Worse, she was beautiful. So anyway, what I did here, again, I used, and it's not done, but I used some washes of Neo Color. okay? Then I went in and I, I went, the whole thing has got white dots of snow. So I went back and added the snow back over. This is just a wash. This is a wash of a magenta. Then I went over it and shaded it with the magenta pencil. Then I went in with a gel pen and, and just went over all the designs of the dress. Same here. Now I'm not done shading in the green like uh, velvet like. I want that to look like green velvet. And then the little uh, little designs on there. I gotta finish those two. And then if you can see, I added some stickles. Let's see if I can see her hat in the snow. See where I added stickles. So, and I'm working on doing the bricks here. This is I haven't really got very far in that, but I did do the stickles with the snow. I haven't really shaded much of the wolf yet, but you can kind of see where it's going when you see the stickles. get the color back there so hopefully y'all can kind of see again I'm, I'm doing some little design play in here it's not done it's not shaded yet but you kind of get the idea so all the little designs all I did is go over the designs with the gel pen and it's just the one color of gel pen on top of the wash 
of magenta neo color too and then shading there's a little bit of shading here in the creases some shading some shading right there and then the rest is gel pen so i think y'all can and she i haven't even done her face yet i haven't done her you know shaded in her face or anything so i just kind of want to show you some progress as i progress so you can kind of see some ideas so because i know it's hard for me to finish you know one page it, it could take five six or longer hours to do one page which is a long stream of one thing so uh, i try to you know just keep it at about two hours and then try to just show you off and on where i've progressed so you can kind of get some more ideas thanks guys yeah so it's just some stickles on there of course do the stickles if you're going to color a page uh, do the stills at the end of your coloring session because you really have to leave it sit overnight uh, before you can get back to working on it. And it does wrinkle the page a little, which I can flatten out a little better as I, you know, go. But the back side is not, you know, it's uh, it's not a two-sided, so it's okay. I don't care if anything comes through or anything. I do always put a piece of, um, you know, some kind of a card behind. For a couple reasons. One, when you're bearing down on the color pencil, you don't want that color pencil from this to get onto there. And you also don't want to indent the page behind it because if you indent the page with a you know pressure of a pencil, then when you go to color this one, you're going to be picking up that indent. You know? So, you know, put something behind. And also if you're going to color off the edge, this is good to like, you know, so you can go all the way to the edge. Okay, so that's all I've got done in the Game of Thrones one so far. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to work, I'm working on three different ones at the same time. And that's all I've done in this one. All right, then I, I'm also working a little bit more in my uh, Doodlers Anonymous. I love this book for multiple reasons. One being the paper thickness is really awesome. Again, I'm not saying you could use Copics, but it's nice thick paper. You can use water-based markers without any problem. So this is the one I'm working on now. <laughs> and uh, again, I've just really just started shading. I did the um, I did the little waves. This was just all white back here, and I did some blue and white little water. So it could either be partial water coming down, it could be whatever, it's in the background. And then, the, <clears throat> excuse me, then there's a little hook coming down here. And what I'm going to do is I painted in that white circle right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of, um, well, I'm not going to do it with neo colors. I just grabbed this. I'm going to do it with color pencil. And I'm going to put a little glow around this to make it almost look like a little light bulb. I'm going on top of acrylic paint, so it's going to work fine. And what I'm going to do is inside there, I'm going to put here, fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> I'm going to put here, fishy, fishy. Okay, I got too much water. Hang on, let me get a Kleenex here. I got too much water. And so she's like out exploring. So what I'm going to do, and again, I haven't finished coloring in all the background here. See how it's it's just the wash right there? I'm going to shade it in. See, she's wearing a little fishy nightgown. <laughs> and look at him, see? And I put my own scales on there. So I drew scales, and I'm still coloring in him. And I instead of pointy teeth, I made him have some little square teeth. I just painted in his teeth square. And then what I'll do in the background here is I'll do my own little grass designs, like kind of like I did on, where's the one that I made? Maybe it's the other way, wait. Yeah, all right, so you can see how I did all those little designs right there. And the little, you know, added, I made my own sweater design and all these little designs, the little dots and dashes and all that. That's stuff that I added in. See, so like on the little house there, all this, I just added my own little designs. Well, that's what I'm going to do in, um, in the um, 
grass and all that. So I haven't finished her. She's going to have pink hair. And so I'm kind of just working on this one. So this is the one I'm working on. I painted the water kind of blue and put some white. And I'm going to put here, fishy, fishy. <laughs> so you can kind of see where that one's going. So it's, it's a good ways in, you know, that's a good ways in. Shade, I still have to shade all the flowers and the leaves and everything. And I always try to make, you know, it obvious for, to the artist that drew it. So that's that one. And I think that's all that I knew. Well, I shouldn't take that. I have worked a little bit more on the umbrella one. This is one that I work on just a little here and there. And this will be a great one to use these gel pens on. Because it's a lot of little tiny things. So you can just kind of see some of the bits that I've done and some of it's marker some of it is pencil with some marker outlines I just use whatever and then here so many color books so little time we put that on a shirt made them have some little checkerboard sleeves so you can just kind of see how far I've got on this one again I was highlighting the artist that drew it so her fur coat or his fur coat so I made a leopard like you know color that in leopard color so anyway so that's one that i'm working on i might i might just start on this one too i mean i love them all so i've done a few of the little house the little roofs and some of the houses there this is one that i'll just work a little on at a time you know if i just have a couple minutes I, you know i'll pick up a gel pen and you know, just do a, a little section or something, you know, because there's just so much, you know, of the same, you know, houses or whatever. This, this is a kind I'll just do a little at a time. I need a demo of the background going around those tiny things. Okay, you mean like the black background? In or what are you talking about? Any of it? Like you mean going around this? going around the backgrounds well I just put a wash and you can see how rough the wash is see how it's not very but I kind of like that little watercolory look to start with but then you go in there with pencils you just go in there with pencils and start shading around it and and like in the other book where I did the black acrylic paint when you get I do as close as I can with a small brush but then I'll go in there with a color pen, black pencil to get in really really tight I use color pencil for that or you could use a marker you know a, a gel pen or a marker now the black background I use pencil pretty much exclusively to have that flat back velvety background of a night sky this was already black here that was our this was already done I haven't even added anything on that that's just how it looked when that in the original page this one is the doodlers anonymous epic coloring book and they have an awesome website and tons of people uh, contribute their doodles. They've been around for a long, long time. And so the, this is their, as far as I know, their first color book in the stores. And it's 90 artists, 90 different artists that drew the illustrations. And I got mine, and they have them. They're at Books A Million, I think at Barnes & Noble too. I haven't looked for it at Barnes & Noble because I got mine at Books A Million. So, and then this one is Color Book Attic. I added that in there. So I'll just show you the ones I've done so far. Y'all have seen them before. I mean, I've shown them. I did this one. I actually colored this one. Artists in Space. The little cat. And again, I added my own little checkerboards and little designs. Don't feel like just because there's nothing there that you have to color it just a solid color. Especially if you're a doodler doodler if you're a doodler go in there and zentangle or doodle or color whatever they'll go on some large white spaces yeah yeah well you know that's why i like to do a wash whether it's with a neo color or just your kids watercolors or watered down acrylic paint which that's the very very best to go over with your prisma colors or any you know any wax based and oil based actually uh, is the if you have a wash of acrylic paint because it just like gives it a tooth and uh, I've shown the chart a few times so I'm not going to go dig that out right now but 
Let's see. So here's this one. So I gave him a tattoo. That is the name. If you put in OCAT, that's the name of the uh, person's, the person's nickname um, for uh, Doodlers Anonymous, the owner. So I put the little, put the little tattoo on there. And again, I showed here, I think I did a lot of this on some of this on stream. Anyway, I showed how you just, I did a wash of lime green paint and then just shadowed the fish here and there. So you don't have to go in there and color every little individual fish. I mean, you can. I'm not saying you can't do any of it. And then I wanted to make his shirt look denim. So I just kind of did a like, kept it rough um, and kind of cross hatched it to make it look like denim. Yeah, I love this book too. And, and, and it's got good thick pages. And because it's 90 artists, it's all different. Everything, it's just got tons of different stuff. Okay, so again, here's the little guy. I just put him, called him Foxy. <laughs> and that's supposed to be like his, his briefs. And his little socks, like he's in his underwear and his Christmas sweater, ugly Christmas sweater vest. <laughs> but all the little designs that you see, add that stuff yourself, you know? Okay, let's see what else we got in here. I'm just going to kind of flip through so you can kind of get an idea. But it's an awesome book. Okay, hang on, guys. My scroll quit scrolling. Let me get it going. Okay. Somebody's talking about willpower and Eileen's laughing at them. Look at this one. I love that one. And then I... This one I did some with color pencil and then I went around the color pencil with markers just the Crayola kids you know these here and I've shown them a ton of times the super tips these they're just you can get like 50 of them for ten dollars use a coupon get them for five five or six but they're the kind of bullet tip and what's nice about those is that you can get thin you know, a, a wider and a real wide. So you can just get multiple um, thicknesses. And they're water-based. Now, they're not watercolor. In other words, they're not going to blend. They're not blendable. They're not like Copics. They're water-based. And so you you pretty much, you know, I use them for either an under base or to outline things like I did the purple right there. So I colored that in with the color pencil, and then I, I just kind of outlined it a little bit. Now, if you go over your color pencil with a, a marker, a water-based marker, you got to let that dry. Because it's, it's sitting on top of a waxy pencil, and it's, you know, it's going to smear off if you're not, you know, letting it dry. And then I also I've heard from Jess and some others that you shouldn't use your Copics on top of your pencil because it can ruin it. I don't know. I don't use Copics, but you know, check that out. Don't ruin your Copic markers going over wax and oil-based pencils. So, okay. Yeah, the Luminance pencils, are they're awesome, but they're expensive. You know, they're, they are expensive. They're like six bucks a pencil. And then somebody, you know, I think that, I don't know if Paula's got them yet or had, or is getting them to pop, or did she? The, pa the Pablo, which is like right the next version uh, down from Illuminance. So, you know, just buy it. If you can, go to like Dick Blick or whatever and get a couple of every, you know, kind and test them out. I especially recommend trying the whites, you know, trying a white pencil, see what it goes over. Let's see, and then this one, and again, all the sky here, I added my own rain, my own splotchy clouds. The only thing on here was these swirls right there, and then I painted my own storm. I put my own little um, hairs on him, 
you know so don't be afraid to add your own doodles i had made him hairier all that hair i added so add your own touch <laughs> don't be afraid to be the boss of your color book okay paula research the, okay i did see that yeah she likes it. i did see that uh, recording eileen because when you said researched then i remembered <laughs> Yeah, the alcohol dissolves the wax and it gets into the nib and possibly in the ink is what Susan said. So, yeah, yeah, you know, you don't want to ruin your expensive Copic markers going over a wax-based pencil, for goodness sake. So, anyway. But these water-based ones, these little Crayola ones, go over it. You just got to let them dry, you know, because uh, until because it's kind of sit on top of the wax for a little bit. So just all kinds of awesome different art. So you just need to get this. Now this one we did a stream. Uh, I show I did I did pretty much stream this whole thing. So again, I, this is all black acrylic paint, and I've done demos showing you the difference between trying to go over with color pencil on black acrylic paint versus trying to go over it on black acrylic pen. I mean black pencil. And then uh, just kind of shade and just did a little kind of glow around her. I drew my own lantern in there because I wanted a reason for her to be lit up. So I drew a lantern and then made the glow. Uh, the eyelashes are done with the gel pen. Um, what else? Just color pencil. Then this is acrylic paint. All the waves. This was there's no. This was just white. There was nothing there. So I put in my own water. Um, so there's that, and then, and it's this. I did stream this. This was a this was a long stream. Just do pencil last, and it works well enough. Yeah, yeah. You can put you can put pencil over the marker. You just don't want to ruin your your Copic tips and the ink with wax. And then this one. This was one of my favorites too. I really like the the personality of this little character Ashley Cash and I found her on Instagram so yeah she's on Instagram so it's just a cute little design so I tried to make it look like metal some kind of like a little bit of you know tan and silver and then I made my own antenna on him and then all these dots I added the dots right there with the white gel pen Gave him some big old shoelaces. So, if I ever win the lottery, you're getting a full set of Copics. <laughs> yeah, I know you use Copics too. So does Jess. Yeah, I just, you know, again, you know, you have to kind of pick and choose what you're going to spend your money on. So, right, you know, I just buy color pencils. But, yeah, um, Jess is telling me to, you know, oh, you need to try the Copics. And now Susan's trying to get me into Copics too. So anyway, look, just how fun is this? How fun? Ah, <laughs> you just can't. And then here's another one. This, this little guy here was just riding a little, uh, unicycle. Well, no, I guess it's a tricycle. I don't know. Anyway, it's got two wheels on it, but. I, I colored in the wheels to make the spokes to make them look striped like that. And it was just a total white background. Well, I just added my own snow scene and then just did a little bit of white washed snow like drifts up on him to make him look like he's pedaling through either the snow or the clouds. So, yeah. So I just love this color book because of the variety in it. The artists in it are awesome, and it's a full um, information about them in the back here, their websites and all. So it's got total illustration credit for all 90 artists, but it's just an awesome, awesome book. It's just so fun. You can't not smile when you're working in it, and it's just, you know, the variety in it is what makes it really, really uh, awesome, and the, just the great illustrations by the different artists. So, but thanks. That's so sweet. Susan said she wins the lottery. I'm getting a full set of Copics. <laughs> yes, Copics have black. Oh, does Copic make, you mean black markers? Yeah, they also, they have, uh, they have black um, multi-liners too. 
they have pens that look like you know multi-liner pens you know this is this is just a, a faber castell pit but they have some multi-liners too so if that's what you're asking i'm not sure so that's what i've been coloring lately those two things so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to first let me put these away because i'm just not going to color right this minute I thought we could, I'll just show you a little bit of the art journal so you can see what you can use your color books in. Now, it can, you can use your color books or just any kind of thing you want to cut out, you know, mi mixed media collage. All right, so, you know, like, um, let me find the book that I'm mostly working in. Now, I'm not going to work in this one. I'm going to work in my big one today. But this is the one, and I've shown it multiple times, um, where... It's mixed media. In other words, it's got paint, it's got collage, it's got I've stenciled, I've got neo colors. Well, I don't have a lot of neo colors in this one, but I got collage, color book pages that I've cut out things. So and I'm kind of right close up enough, I think. This guy, we just drew him though one day. She's cut out of a magazine. But and they're all in different stages. So very few of them, I would say, are 100% done. But I'm trying to show you the ones where I've added color book things to. So like the, these three giraffes are from a color book, the Creative Haven color book. And I colored them and cut them out and then placed them where I wanted and then added paint and uh, different things around them to like blend them into their uh, environment. Hmm. Oh, somebody else has. Oh, yeah, there's different versions of alcohol markers, Jeannie. Um, I don't know that. I didn't know that Blick had a version, but I know there's uh, different brands. Um, there's uh, Pro Markers and there's different ones. Um, um, Darcy UK sent Cameron some a year or two ago he used them up he has totally used those but letra set which i think was bought out and they changed their name but there's different alcohol based markers copic is just the most famous if you will and i think hobby lobby has a new brand now again if you're paying fifty dollars for a box of Hobby Lobby, I, I probably can guarantee you they're not going to be as good or last as long as Copics, and they're probably not going to be refillable either. So, I mean, you know, buy a $20 set of them and test them out before you go, you know, hog wild and buy, you know, a huge $100 set, you know. But there's other alcohol-based markers out there cheaper than Copics, but I'm not going to speak for the quality of it. I just can't imagine any of them have the quality that Copics do. But that's just me. I'm not a Copic gal yet. <laughs> yeah, okay. So anyway, different bits of color. You know, this is like some clip art. This is some clip art here. Uh, this is out of a uh, art book. And then this is a piece of a calendar. We got stenciling. We got spraying. We got all kinds of things going. It's not done. So I just kind of play in this. This is just kind of like a play journal. We still haven't glued down this little bird yet that needs to be colored. And I've said this before, it's especially if you have a mixed media journal where you've got uh, images that you've cut out of magazines or calendars or whatever, and then you want to add some color book pages to it. Um, do not glue them down first. Color them and then glue them down. Because if you glue them down over your bumpy, lumpy, imagery you're going to feel it underneath and when you go to color on here it's going to be you're going to get a line wherever that under you know it's going to be hard to color smoothly if you're going over okay if you're going over the top yeah yeah susan <laughs> one of these days so i did not glue this down but i glued this down because i wanted to test some things and just see okay again here's a couple that i've cut out and they're just in different stages. I want to flip real quick. Okay, so here's where we colored those fairies. I colored them in the book first. 
there's three different little fairies here out of the fairy book and I cut color them cut them out glue them in here and then along with the other things that I've done you know paint and collage and different things stenciling in the background and then I painted them into the environment so I made them fit in painted water painted little water streams around them, painted the water coming right over her foot. This one's pouring out some water. So you can see, so you can add your own little, you know, world, adding color book pages that you've colored separately and cut out. So they're just different stages. Oh, here's one. This is out of the fairy book as well. Again, the fussy cut fussy cut her out and glued her down. This is out of steampunk book. I'm just going to do a quick little flip so you can see what, where, what you can do with all this different stuff. Uh, there's stamps and tissue paper, pieces of scrapbook paper. Again, after I do all just, just different kinds of everything, then I'll, I'll paint it in and blend it in. So this might be how it completely starts at the very start. Okay. Then I'll add stencils, scrapbook paper, magazine images, um, just a little everything. Here's another one from a, one of the color books. Two girls that are fussy cut out there. It's not finished blended in. Same for this one. She's out of the floral fashion book. So you can kind of see. So you can see how you can add your own color book images into your art journal. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick flip here. This is the, one of the steampunk girls. And again, it's not finished. I don't ever feel like compulsive about finishing every single page. One, I Just because I glue something in doesn't mean I have to finish it right then. It's fun for me just to continuously add things. Now this one is finished. Okay, they're cut out of the steampunk book. The rest is paint and collage. So you can see how you can add them into the environment. I painted it in, you know, paint around them and on them to make them look blended into their environment and made my own little world. Here, I did a little time machine here. There's a little door right there. That's from some kind of vintage, um, co uh, not calligraphy, um, illuminated book from 15th century or something. And just kind of let you see some of the pages in different stages and you can just continuously add and add and you know I, when I say when I know what I think is done I just don't add any more to it okay she's almost done she's almost done again she's out of the uh, steampunk book added some these are some feathers out of I did finally glue those down some feathers out calendar feathers stencilings you know different bits this is from a color book right here we did this is out of a, a bit of a floral out of a color book we added that this is just some stenciling different bits that are you know just different stages so this one is done and again the only part that's from a color book are the little fish so i cut the cut the little fish out of the nature scapes um and then all the rest is collage and paint. So I just hope it's inspiring, give you some ideas. You know, this is from the floral fashion. We did this on a U stream. Pretty sure this is a, from a stream. Added our own kelp all around her. And it's a little flashed out, but you gotta get the idea, I think. Let me pull this back in here for a minute. Kind of helps pull the color back. Yeah, go ahead. If y'all have marker reviews and things, put you post your links. That's fine. Some steampunk. We just drew these guys. Yeah. Just different. So you can kind of see this is from the kimono color book. So, and again, this is the Di Dina Reevely <laughs> Dilusions book, okay? 
and I've done flips and shown more in depth than this, but I, what I wanted to show you was this is the same type of stuff that I want to do in the big moly. Okay, so the big moly, Mola Skeena. Right. So I got a pile of collage stuff here. It's got all kinds of stuff here. Let me move some of my pens so that they don't end up. They'll end up in the pile of. All right, so I just got all kinds of magazine images. Some of them y'all sent me. Some I've cut out. Some are from calendars. Some are from art books that I buy on clearance just to cut up. Okay. So this is the big Moloskina. Let me turn it sideways because I might have to. Let me back up the camera. on. If you get dizzy, look away a minute. Not that that matters because I'm always bumping the camera anyway. But I'm going to back up the camera just a little. Let me get my focus back here. Okay, so that you can see the how big it is. Okay, so I believe I said it was 12 by 17. I have I've deconstructed it. In other words, I've taken it all apart. And so the book is like there's it's not really a book anymore. I've taken here's all the pages. I've taken them all apart so that they're all ready to play with. Some things and, it, and I haven't got very far in this book. I've, I've just kind of started with some sprays, some dilution sprays, and a little bit of collage here and there. But I really haven't worked very much in this because it's so big, okay? So usually when I'm in the mood to do the, you know, mixed media, collage painty stuff, I use a smaller book because this these take longer. Thanks, Vicki. But I thought I would just, you know just talk and show you some of the things that I, you know, you can do with the big mixed media books. Okay. Again, they're all, all the pages have been taken apart, deconstructed, and are in different various stages. Here's this one right here. This is a little, got a little bit more color and a little further along than some of them. And uh, so you can kind of see, I do a lot of things based on color and just odd things that fit together like I had torn something out of this this page right here of these I guess they're like Buddhist children and there was something on the other side that I just tore a little bit out well when I flipped it over when I put them on top of these look these flowers right here look how that just kind of fit it just kind of fit so again I'll paint them in and blend them in and stuff but in the meantime I just love the way that looked right there so I glued it down what will this become you know I really don't have a plan for these. it's not like my art cards where I'm kind of thinking of a little story on each one this is more just play and spontaneous and whatever in this big book because it's so dang big so I'll, I'll just kind of, I'll flip a little through the pages, but there's, again, there's not much done in this. It's mostly just some stencil and some dilution sprays. Now, these pages in this book, they're not waxy at all like, like the Moloskinas can sometimes have a, they're not really waxy, but they feel like they're coated a little bit. Some of them, the, the sketch ones are, are a little thinner. There's different ones. But anyway, um, so the when I spray these with ink, and I never gesso anything. Well, I don't say never. Rarely do I ever even, I, don't, I can't even tell you where it, my, my gesso is. Okay, if I need to coat anything or like in the magazine journals, if I want to get rid of any text or paint over something, I just do it with white acrylic paint. But the sprays here, they can move a little bit when I go back over it with, when I glue things down, I always use golden matte medium for my glue when I'm collaging down, not just gluing anything, but when I'm collaging things down, I use golden matte medium, but the sprays will sink in fairly well into this paper, okay? So I, again, it's all taken apart, all right? And this is the cover. This is what it looked like when I, I bought it. It's like a giant moly. It has a, a ribbon for a divider, you know, for a bookmark. It has the pocket just like um, just like a regular moly does, but it's huge. So this side right here and here, I've just done some collaging, mixed media collaging on here 
the covers. So again, it kind of flashes out a little bit when I'm you know, moving it around here, especially now it looks like the sun's trying to come out after a big storm this morning. So, all right. So anyway, it's, it's just cool to have this like, like portfolio type thing. So even if I didn't use and any or all of these pages in this kept them in here I just like the book the cover like the portfolio-ness of it <laughs> so anyway yeah so that's what I do you know you've seen me do the little cards and I had pulled out you know earlier before we started the day I pulled out some you know to make some more art cards and some leftover Star Wars calendar pages just to play with and when I when I would if I'm going to make something like this I'm not trying to make a Star Wars card what I will do is just like let's see like let's just skip it. like I'll pick a little bit of something off of like a scene out of space like this and this may or may not end up being a spaceship but I'll just glue like that and I might take another one that has some more like mechanical things on it and so I make up my own little stories with just bits of stuff but I have these leftover bits of um, or this leftover 2015 calendar with the Star Wars characters on it that I got last year and so you know just a little bit of Boba Fett there there's oh, let's see something else I'm gonna try to add a person in here or just just to kind of show you what I'm talking about. Well, y'all have seen me make art cards a zillion times. It's the same type of thing, except with, uh, you know, this just has a more of a little bit of a Star Wars, you know, has a little bit more of a theme. But that doesn't mean I'm going to make it a Star Wars card. You know, like, here we go. Let's see, like this. I have my clocks and my watches, and just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So I'll just make my own little bit, you know, like that. And then I'll paint it in, add some, you know, could have some waterfalls, it could have stars, it could have nebulas, it could have all kinds of things. But just so you see what I'm talking about, I'm not trying to make Star Wars cards. I'm just using bits of this calendar. I'm not going to do that right now, though, because we've already changed directions. But anyway, all right. So I'll just quickly flip through here, and I know it's going to flash out just so you kind of see how the different stages that I've just got different things on here. Let's see, get under there. And it's not even fitting under the camera 100%, but you'll get the idea. Just to have something on the background as a start, just, just like the other book I had, I just showed you, the smaller uh, Dina Reevely one. Same thing. This is just backgrounds. I'm just going to do a quick flip. So you can see I use an owl stencil. I love using gesso with your stencils as a resist and then sl slap and drag. Yeah. And, it, and, and again, that is the gesso will be a resist so that the paints don't sink in. In my case, I like it to sink in, but you know, yeah, you can do, you can use whatever. This just got a little bit of pattern on there. Again, just different. You know, this ha this book has got literally most every page is just like this. Hardly anything done to it except some sprays and some uh, a little bit of you know paint or a little bit of ink rather. And they're just big sheets ready to play on. So I just have it handy. You know, I don't get into this one very much yet because I've been working in the smaller ones. But just so you can kind of see what I start with. And it can be more vibrant. You, you know, some of these are watered down a little with the smack and drag. I might have done all these on camera. Maybe not the whole book. I don't remember. But I did a chunk of these on camera, I mean, during a stream. But it's all the same type of start. Okay, 
But then, like, let's just say, take this one for an example, because it's purple. Then I'll probably, uh, I'm going to find some place for some camera focus stuff. So maybe I'll focus off of this. But I'll find I have all different kinds of bits from, you know, uh, stained Tiffany glass, uh, book. And I have a bunch of magazine images here from some of y'all that sent me some a couple of, last couple of weeks. And I just love just kind of flicking through them and just kind of getting ideas. And then always look at what, sometimes you'll have something like, let's say, you might be have torn something out. Like, I don't even remember what I tore out of a bit of a building. But sometimes you'll just flip your pages through and you'll find bits of the page behind just makes its own little story accidentally see so I really like her I, I don't really want the green so I'm going to kind of get rid of the green I'm going to get rid of the text just to kind of play here for a minute I'm not making anything in particular okay, but I like her face So you can see, well, maybe I should do it over here. Let's see. No, I kind of like her over here. So you can kind of see how it starts a whole something going on. I can see a whole waterfall. I can see mountains. I can see cliffs. Hey, Lynn, anybody else popping in? Thanks for being here. Okay, so a couple things when I'm doing collage. Let's see, let me get a brush. I keep my glue brushes in water. They're the only brushes that I keep in water. And I was just, uh, not recently, had this out. So let me get a little, you know, some kind of a, one of those, you know, gift card or a advertisement card or something that comes in the mail will work fine. Glue brush stays in water and then thanks to sunset carol who gave us this tip to put your matte medium in a dishwater bottle because then you can just pop the top and squeeze some out either here or in this case i'm just going to squeeze it directly on here and just get it and I always put my matte medium when I'm collaging, I put it down on here. And you can see it's running a little bit. Not as much as it was, would if it was a non-porous paper. And then I'll just turn it over and I put some on the back because it just less wrinklage if you have it on both. Okay, I picked up a little purple there, which I like. Now i have got to pick up a little bit of that because I want to tuck her in that little space. So kind of like that and just get it kind of glued down you know, a tiny bit more and glue that down and then I take the card and just smash it out and get all the wrinkles out what book is I'm working in my big Moloskina the giant one that's like 12 by 17 I think so just to give you an idea and then I'll hit it with a heat gun of course if I have more stuff that I know let me move a little if y'all missed him <laughs> here's our little baby Bridget little BB a little BB I love him but I don't want to get any matte medium on him. All right, so let me dry this. <laughs> and it's I've, take, I've taken all the pages and made them loose. So then I've got my scroll stuff again. Hey, Jess. You can't see me figuring out that collage thing. Oh, well, we're just talking about you and Copics. You and Susan Ribbons. Let's get that out of the way. 
<laughs> okay, so just, to, you know, and I may or may not find other things that I want to glue on here, you know, at this time. But I'm, I'm going to try to find some more things because y'all are watching me do try to do a stream. But just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about, I can see a whole like tree thing going on here. But I can also see a waterfall. This could be a whole nether mountain area. There could be just all kinds of things going on, depending on what I find in my collage. Because this is the kind of stuff I just like to play with. It's not really, it's, I'm not really um, trying to find a girl in a castle kind of thing. I'm not really trying to pick something like that out. But I do love my watches. Y'all know I love my clocks and watches. So let me... So I'll have to find some place for this, whether it's there or not, I don't know yet. So I just pick different things out and just kind of relax and chill. There's some cool mountains, although I'm not liking the color of this with this particular page. And I'm kind of looking for some purples and maybe some red. I'm just flipping through a bunch of random collage stuff over here. Oh, I do like this. Okay. So I like this gate. I do like that gate. Do I like it on here, though? I'm not sure. I like it right there. And I might like this watch on top of it. No, I'm liking it like this because it looks almost like part of that scene. Just leave it there for a minute. So just playing. And it's all the same. I mean, I just use the same techniques and same you know, mixed media ness of it. Oh, I like that, but it's not matching. I'm looking for certain colors. Yep, I need some fresh coffee myself. I'm liking this design. And then, like this is a bunch of bags and sacks of stuff, but look at just the texture and stuff of that. That just looks really cool. Don't know if I want it. Oh, I think I like this bit better. Don't have enough room down here where I want it to be. I'm just working on this page, not this page. Let me kind of move over here. I'm not doing a double page. There, that helps the lighting too. Actually, you could probably just move all this out of the way. Let me just put a couple under there for a little cushion. And just move all that out of the way. That's better. Okay. Oh, I bumped the camera. Did I bump the camera? What did I do? Hang on, did the camera just slip back? Hang on, guys. I don't know what happened. Sorry. I keep bumping it or something. Who knows? <laughs> there we go. All right. I have no idea. Oh, the other thing I wanted to do too is my napkins. We were going to pull these out. That Angie sent. Let's see if there's any. Well, I don't know if it's going to fit on this page. We'll have to probably do a second page because none of these have any purple in them or anything. So I should have thought of that before I hit this one. That's okay. Let me move this out of the way. Ugh. All right. 
There we go. All right. I think we're settled back in. <laughs> oh, that's crooked. My camera's crooked again. Uh, can y'all see okay? You think that's good? Yeah, they're talking about the voice. I think tonight is tonight the final. I kind of quit watching it after they pick their top ten. It's like, okay, one of them's gonna win. <laughs> so I kind of like, I don't know. I kind of lose interest of these kind of shows, the dance ones, and after they pick the top ten or twenty, it's like I like the auditions. You know, I like the audition bit. That's my favorite part. Okay, I like this bit of color right here. I'm liking this color. Oh, it's too dark. Too dark. I like that better. Oh, I don't want it edged off. I'm trying to reach out to. <laughs> I scroll not stop. There I go. Yeah, I just I like to see the auditions. Once I start picking everybody, you know who, you know, you know who is. Uh, the top 10 or 20. I don't know. I just kind of lose interest. That's just me. That's just me. I'm not finding anything purple. Why can't I find one single thing purple? Oh my gosh. Let me get this. I got another notebook. I mean, another uh, file folder full of stuff here. Uh oh. Let's not look at that flamingo. No, he's just like always makes an appearance. <laughs> oh, I'm just thinking. Oh, I like this outside. This watch. I'm just flipping, guys. You know, you just never know what you're gonna find. <laughs> this is another one of those examples where you just. You know, you cut something out for a texture or something, and you find something else. Here's another one. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, I'm liking that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it might be time to move to another page. So I'm not finding anything purple that I'm that's speaking to me. Nothing is speaking to me. Purple. Ooh, 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 I love this. I love these rocks. I might have to use some of this. That little bit it almost looks like a number almost. <laughs> yeah, I'm not finding any my the colors just not speaking to me. The, you know, I'm not finding anything purple that's speaking to me at all. Another fish. So I might just have to move on to another page for right now. Which never bothers me. We got plenty of them. Oh, there's some silver. No. It's odd that I can't find anything purple. It's just like, 
Really? Nothing? This has got a purple tinge to it. I'm just feeling like it needs some purple or some kind of... I think I'm going to move on, guys, from this page. It's not speaking to me at all. At all. And it's not helping that I'm reading chat. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to leave this page like this, and we're going to move on. I'm going to find something to glue some of Angie's napkins to. All right, let's see. Let's see, let's go this way. All right, let's see. Let's flip it back to the beginning, like this goes under here. Not that it matters, because there's really no rhyme or reason. I'm just going to find a page that speaks to me for one of these. This color. All right. Let's... Again, I'm not sure about the purple. It's a little bit of tealy color in here, but I'm not really sure if I'm going to like this on this page. I need bigger scissors. What the watch that slant looks like entrance to it. Yeah, oh, I love doing uh, caves and you know all that. But I'm moving on from that page because of the purple. It's the purple, and here's purple again. Although this does have some teal, but it's just that purple on that page that was not speaking to me. Do I want this butterflies here? I'm kind of liking that. We'll go for it. We're going to glue it down whether I use this page or not. So we're just going to, I'll just use the card here. Smear out some. Now when you're using napkins, you got to be careful. You can't put it on the back, obviously. You can't put it on here and the back. Because, you know, once you lay that down, it's down. Okay, so you got to just put your napkins down where they fall. And carefully, carefully. But they'll kind of almost melt into your... You gotta, I'm, I'm barely touching with the card. But they'll kind of melt into your background. And if you really want the vibrancy of the image to come through, you really want to start with a white page because it's going to obviously pick up the color behind it, which is fine in some cases. But if you don't, if you want a pure color of your napkin, you need to start on a white page so that it, um, the white shows through. I need some baby white. Ugh. I can just see this as water, maybe, I don't know, his antenna could be spewing out water. We'll see. This one may work. The butterflies put in my silk scarf. Yeah. I'm really liking that. Again, it's a little dark. Let me keep the white. Well, it got a little dark in here. Let me try to brighten it up a little. Nope, I don't want to zoom. I want to brighten. Not that much. Hang on, guys. Let me refocus the camera. Where's my card? Here.
I think it's pretty too. I don't know where we're going with it, but I'm liking the world we're going to make. <laughs> All right. I almost like this on here. No, I'm going to, I have an idea of this. I want this to almost be like water coming out and maybe some dark um, um, space up there, up here. Let's see. Okay. I do want to use these other napkins on another page. I like to at least just get them glued down. All right. Lightning, it helped a bit. Thank it helped. Okay. Yeah, because the sun came out because it's been rainy, and so when the sun came out, it changed the lighting. Mm -hmm. I got so many bits right here. You just don't can't even see. It's piled up, piled up. I think I want this over here. No, I don't want it there. This is the part that you just gotta kind of, you know, take your time with. This is bigger than my little. One smaller. Uh, I didn't really want to do a whole poster today, but I want to do a little something on this. So I'll just keep digging here. Oh, I like that. A bit of a building. That might be too much that way. Like it's on a cliff. I like that. A little waterfall come down needs a watch on top. I like this tree a bit. Because I can see that it's dark behind it. Maybe a little there. I don't know if I have enough. It's too dark. I don't like that. Just talking it out. Talking it out. It might be too big. Let's cut that down. I like that. <laughs> I like this. I need some more of this kind of a blue green thingy needs to go that way we'll paint it in we'll be painting around things got a lot of scraps I can get rid of here Don't want it too dark there because it's going to be dark up there. Light down here, like a pool. It's going to have a pool light right here. I need a little bit more lighter because I'm going to paint a lot. Ooh, yes, I like this. Bits of fabric with textures in them. Although I do kind of like the idea of kind of light right there, but I can always paint over it. Did I bump the cam? What happened? Why did that? I have it clip. Oh, it's my tripod. Hang on guys. Good grief. My tripod leg loosened up again. Look away if you get dizzy. Yikes. It just kept slipping and slipping. Oh, what is going on? And I kept compensating and compensating. And it was the leg. Gee. Sorry, guys. Uh, 
Oh, do you, do you want some pages? Oh, I got tons from NASA. Oh, you want to send me some? I'll take them. I thought you meant like right this minute. Yeah, I got some right here. Okay. My, I think the leg's getting ready to slide again. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Seriously? Let me get some tape. Hang on, guys. I'm sorry. You're going to have to just look away if you're wanting to get dizzy. All right. Um... Let's see if that'll hold up. Good grief. Okay, we are a little zoomed in now. That's kind of good. <laughs> Don't move. <laughs> yeah, boss of the color book. Not sure about the camera. Yeah, the tripod. All right, so let me move this down so you can kind of see where we're going. Now, I am kind of close up again, but I think you can see. I don't know. I think I need to move some of this out of the way. Let me just stick with this page. I'm going to move everything else out of the way. Hang on. So maybe maybe one page or something just to have some cushion. Let me move this. Let me put this back where we had it. Kind of like that, like this. I lost my watch bit. Here we go. BB is crawling around. <laughs> oh, but now I'm a little too close, I think. Well, we're going to go with it. Okay, I'll just move it down, up and down here. All right, so I'm going to just move all this off. I'm going to add a little bit of matte medium here. Where's my brush? Here we go. We're going to get a painted page in a minute. We're going to get to the paint. I'm determined. Not gonna mess around now. We're gonna just keep crack a lacking. <laughs> Let's get this kind of glued down, then I'll smooth it out. A little bit more here. I feel a sneeze coming on now. section at a time. You can put some out on your palette. Just pick some up rather than squirt it all down. Depending on how much you got to put on. There we go. An arched, it's a window, it's a cathedral window stencil. And it's by Crafters Workshop, I think. Am I correct? Um, so we're gonna just use this napkinage as part of our design. Got a little something there, so like some extra napkinage there. I want to get that off. I scraped a little too hard right there. Okay, that's looking good. Hey Margo, what's the <laughs> question? Do you have a cat on the keyboard? Okay, so I'm liking that. I don't know how much more I need. I'm kind of just liking the simplicity of this. I really would like that, find that stencil. Either that or this is going to be water coming up, but I really like that stencil. But I think this over here is enough. If I have this, it's going to be water. All right, let me dry this real quick and look at it for a minute. Hey, guys. <laughs>
Yeah, that's your butterfly napkin that you've sent, Angie. Artist seller. Is it artist seller? Yeah, artist seller. That's right, Vicky. Artist seller. You're right. Okay. You should see my desk. I'm afraid to move my camera to show you that I've moved my camera so much. Oh, it's just a pile over here. A pile, I tell you. <laughs> it's a big hot mess. Okay, so I just kind of keep moving. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move everything. Yeah, here's that's what it looks like right there. That's a better look at the stencil. I think this was a stamp off, you know, with the after this, after I sprayed it with the uh ink and then the stencil is all full of ink then i stamped it off over here with a couple two or three times probably and so that's like the ghost of it here's another version of it <laughs> so i think it came it came with like or is this one that i got at joann's this could be one i got at joann's I'm not sure if that's the artist seller one or not. It could be. I'm not not saying it's not. Oh, here, look. Here's a little bit of that um, bit of doily that we had left over from Valerie's Charms. Let's see what we can do with this. It's fitting on this somehow. Like some clouds. I don't know. I'm liking this. I'm liking this little bit of... texture. Don't know how much it'll show when we have paint and stuff on it, but we're going to glue some down. We're going to glue a little bit down here, here, and here. I just like it. Let's go this way with it. Since we have the napkin on there, we'll just give it some more texture. We're winging it. You don't mind winging it, do you? <laughs> Just have a little bit of a play. As, they, as uh, UK girls would say, we'll have a bit of a play. <laughs> I don't even know if you can see it. Bye, Janet! Thanks for being here. All right, let's dry that. Oh. Let me get out some paint. Scrape some paint. I like the feel of it, you know? You could almost use some dripping to make a, a little bit of background water. Maybe we could do that. I don't do much drippage kind of stuff, but this almost can call for it. You know, it's kind of already sort of speaking drippage. Let me see what color. I think I'd just rather water down my own acrylic paint rather than inks at this stage. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of a... Uh, some uh, blue harbor blue and some purple. I'm gonna get a couple of these colors out. And some black. What we'll color purple? Like a la nice lavender color. This is purple pizzazz. You don't know. It's too. Hmm, maybe a little bit of mixture. A little bit of purple pizzazz and some uh, regular purple with a little bit of white. A little bit of teal. We're gonna go with a little bit of all of it here crusty bit. I need some more. And once I pull out the paint, I'm all over it then. I mean, not like done with it, but I mean like I'm all excited about it when I start pulling out the paints. The arch might be crafter's workshop. Could be. It could be. All right, let me put my glue brush in the water. It doesn't dry out. 
And all right, now a little black and a little white. Because I'm going to scrape some paint, maybe, maybe drippage as well. I need to do the dripping first. Let's see. I have to decide what colors I want to do. Oh, and I wanted a little teal. Uh, a little bit of a teal color. All right, so that's going to be our color palette right there. Don't go away. Don't come back to me. Come back to me. <laughs> now I've got really white. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see. The palette knife. The fresh baby wipe. And we're gonna go to town. Let's just get cleared out so I can go all over the desk if I need to with paint. Love the colors. I do too. Now I gotta think of what color I might want to drip though. Do I want some? I kind of want to keep maybe the teal area down here. And it is kind of flashed out. The colors are like really like hopefully it'll kind of keep us in focus as we go. I'm wondering if I want to do kind of the blue-gray color. Let's go ahead and let's just put a little bit of that across here. Just want a little. I don't want to go crazy with the drippage. I just want a little drippage. So we're going to go ahead and see what we can do here. I'm going to control drippage. I want control drippage, not crazy drippage. because I'm going to want to make it look like water kind of coming back up. So I don't want it to be, and I'm not just, I'm just not a drippage kind of gal, but we're going to go with a little bit. See, just very subtle. That's what I'm wanting, very subtle. There we go, just a very subtle drippage. There we go. Okay, let me kind of soft that up. Let me almost paint it in a little with my finger here. Too much right there. I'm going to kind of... Don't want to lose that white doily. And the other thing about when you have matte medium, remember, you know, I've told you all before that with the matte medium, you can wipe things back. I'm liking that. Okay, that's all the drippage I want right there. Let's dry that. We're going to dry the drippage. <laughs> Essence of drippage. <laughs> So Sunset Carol said, for those watching the recording, Prima Marketing Elementals Stencil Windows on Joanne's website. I think I got it, Joanne's, but I don't remember having a name on it. But it's been, a, you know, a year or two, so... No light drippage, it, it, Orla? Yeah. I don't do it very often, hardly really ever at all. I paint in my own water. But I just thought it kind of had an essence of it there, so I thought I'd go ahead and just run with it. <laughs> There's probably a lot going to get covered up anyway. Because I want to kind of keep it very, I don't want to say simple, but kind of simple, subtle. But we'll see, because I'm going to slap some more paint on it here in a minute. <laughs> All right, so now I do want, I'm going to go ahead with my finger 
and I'm going to do the edges up in here. It's going to be black because I'm going to want to add some stars right up along that top. Let me kind of move down. I'm going to have to kind of pick that paint up before I, because I don't want it all over the back of this. So I'm going to just kind of get a little bit of the black. I think I'll pick up a little bit of blue and just kind of get a little bit of smearage in there. Not white yet. I don't want white yet. I'm just going to kind of get me a little bit of a subtle something going on up there. Okay, so I'm liking that edge. What do y'all think? See a little bit of a doily right there? Makes it kind of look cloudy. Give me just a little bit of white right there. A little bit more blue right there. I don't like that white edge. And because it's got matte medium on, I can take a baby wipe and wipe areas out. See? Okay. I always love, you know, any kind of collage -y stuff. Alright, so let me just kind of Get that kind of blended in there. So just my hands. There we go. All right, I'm liking that. Thank you, Iffy. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna kind of come down here and kind of get some of this. I'm gonna go here with. I'm gonna pick up some purple and some blue here, and just kind of. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to wipe some of that up on the back side which means it's probably going to pick it up back here. As long as it's not too much. I don't want a big smeary mess. Maybe just a little bit of black right there. Just, shh, we're going to whisper. We're going to whisper. Subtle, like subtle. You all still with me? I need to put a test in my chat because I'm not sure it's scrolling. Probably need to reboot. Okay, so let's see what we can do down here. All right, so I think I'm going to pick up some white and that teal color. I'm going to kind of. My best to do with maybe with a baby wipe. Get some white and teal because I need to kind of kind of get that shade of blue that's in that napkin there because I'm going to want to make it turn it into water. Maybe just a tiny bit of lavender reflected. In the water there. A little more blue. I'm liking that. It needs to have a higher horizon line now. Still with me? <laughs> Just making sure because chat doesn't move at all, you know. Okay, so nothing. I'm going to take a little bit of. I'm take my light here. Turn this into a little bit of water reflection.
You're having an Eileen moment. You mean, are you enabling? <laughs> I'm busy ordering stencils. Oh, okay, I'm liking the water. All right, so let's go back up here a little bit. I think I want some darker purple. Just to come all the way down into the water here. This is so pretty. Thank you, Claire. Now I have to kind of decide, do I want this up in a fog? Do I want this in some clouds? Kind of do, but I don't want to put clouds here until I decide what I'm going to do here. Because I you know, kind of got this rainy idea here. You know, I might want to do some splatty, I mean some uh, splotty stuff. Let's see here. Let's a little bit of that purple just in that side. Don't want it too much. It just needs a little bit more though. Just like instead of white, just kind of want a little bit of hint of the purple over here. Kind of blend it into the white background a little bit. And then I think I want on some turquoisey spots, I think I do. So I think I'm going to pick up some turquoise here. Add some water. Get a soft brush. A little bit of turquoise in there. I know you probably can't see it, it's very subtle, but just need a little bit of something like that in there. Not too much. Okay, now I think I do want a little bit. Let me get a clean baby wipe. Do I want to dry that? I think I want to dry that first. Let me hit this with the heat gun. Yeah, this is going to be like a cliff face here. But I, I don't know if I want to do clouds or mist. This is kind of like, I kind of want it to look rainforesty up in there. So kind of misty. So I'm going to, look, I'm going to dry this blue splotch, then I'm going to put some more misty stuff. You love the drippage, Eileen? Oh, don't do that very often. I'm just going to blob up some of that. It's kind of soaked a little bit into that. It might be a little too much turquoise. Let's see. Now Jean's probably napping. She likes to nap at my show, <laughs> which is fine. Okay, so now I'm thinking I want some wa actual white water coming down. Um, let 
Let me get a brush. Okay. Because I'm going to want, I know I'm going to want some water thing, something splashing down this away here. You know, I just don't know if I want it coming from up there. Like up here. actually splashing down or not I'm thinking not I'm gonna kind of like that. okay because I'm gonna want this to come down I want it to kind of come off the butterflies here and then maybe off of that Let's see. I don't know how splashy I want to get right there. Maybe just a little tiny bit come on. Yeah, this is, that's what this is, is a waterfall right here. Just have to decide how heavy I want it to be, because I'm going to mist up in some of this. It's going to have some mist up in it. So let me go ahead and do that, I think. I carry on with that. I want you to still see through there. I don't know if I want this to be more water or more cliff-like. I'm liking the water, but I'm also liking more cliffy-like. I'm not sure. I'm going to put another layer. Mistiness. All right, guys, it's kind of big. I have to keep remembering to move up and down here. Kind of rocky. But I do want some reflection of that purple down in here. I'm going to put a little bit of... Thanks, thanks, guys. You know, we're just playing. Just kind of, you know, I, I just kind of imagine what's going on in the world here. You know? I really need more dry brush. I got to kind of, I'm going to have to dry this or let it dry. 
because it, it won't dry brush on there when it's wet. to layer that up because it wouldn't be splashing this far out. It wouldn't be splashing this far out in, the, in that plane. Thanks, Kathy. A whole area behind the butterfly looks like a hanging garden. Yeah, there's all kind of, can, I'm only some for your imagination, you know? I want to do that. I mean, I like to do that all the time, but sometimes it's, you know, I get carried away trying to make it what I see and not wanting to let, leave some to the imagination. All right, let me dry this because I want to put my watch hands out here. I don't want to run out of time. It needs a little bit more water around this little area right here because there's something under the water. There's something under the water there that you can't see. So I want it to be kind of misty down there. Okay, so now I want, let me do my watch hands here real quick. Um, let me just find a pencil or a pen or something. Make sure it's dry. Oh, now this pen's almost out. Let me just get a Sharpie. Here's my Sharpie. I didn't get to, I haven't even, I wanted to do more than one napkin uh, page. My Sharpie is buried under there. I know it is. Okay. I got a ruler. Just want a direction. I'm going to add some white to it, highlight it. I'm going to hit with the heat gun real quick. Okay, it needs a little bit more. A little bit more definition of some white foggy stuff here. It needs a little bit, not that fat. Just a tiny bit lighter. Something like that. Might even be a little too white too. We'll see. You could turn that into a koi fish. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I think that koi fish with the butterflies and the flower, I think we got enough. Um, okay, let me add a little bit more.
turn this upside down so I don't stick my hand in the wet paint. Sorry I'm not talking much, guys. If you're watching the recording, I'm sure chat's scrolling on. I just got in the zone. <laughs> There's a little bit of a bump right there from the napkin or something. more smear around that and then brighten it up in the center. There we go. A little better. Like that. Take a look at it for a minute. We're here in the zone watching, okay? <laughs> we could use a couple more real, you know, detailed, kind of like a little bit of a couple water lines. Not too much. I want it to your imagination. All right. So, thanks, Eileen. I kind of like it. I mean, for, you know, just using, starting out with a napkin, right? I mean, I think even a couple, well, I can imagine it, you know, more detailed or maybe a couple more, their antennas a little bit more defined, kind of like to kind of give it that, but I kind of like the watch hands just doing that like that. It's kind of like where your eye is drawn to. So anyway, guys, I'll post a picture of it because it's really, I mean, there's the color right there. It, it looks flashed out compared to what it's going, you know, look. See how vibrant those butterflies are? Right there. See, you can't tell that. Well, there it goes. It kind of stayed for a minute. <laughs> anyway. I kind of like it. Maybe I should sign it in white. I rarely sign in white, but this almost calls for a signature in white. Let's sign it right over here. Get my pen going. Keep the signature subtle too.
what do y'all think? Bye, Susan. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Y'all yeah, take a picture of it. Look, there, there. See how vibrant those colors are? That's the real color right there. <laughs> but it kind of flashes out. Let me try to tilt it just a little. I'll take a picture of it. So you can kind of see that some of the colors are much darker than they look like right there. But if I get it too dark, then it's, you know, way too dark. So anyway, so hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all enjoyed the day, the happy mail, and doing a page with the napkin. Any questions or anything? Thanks, Iffy, Rain. Thanks, guys. Is this a giveaway? No, <laughs> it's not a giveaway. Oh, Deb. Let's see, though. Um, I already gave away two things. What else can I give away? I guess I could give away the other, um, the other, uh, it's my fairy treasures here, because I like to give, a, you know, give away when they're here. Where, but yeah, she's still here. You still here, Angie? Okay. We're going to do the giveaway of Angie's other uh, Native American warrior. Because I got one. She sent me one. And then she sent two for giveaway. So mine just has to be, um, mine has to be put back in the frame. But she sent another one. So how would y'all like me to do another? Y'all don't want another giveaway, do you? Would y'all like another giveaway? Uh, Oh, I know we gotta, we gotta, you know, gotta be patient because we know there's a lag and all that. Okay, so let me go ahead. We'll do another giveaway. Make sure there's nothing on there. I don't know where my big post-it notepad went. It's probably buried under here. I'm sure it is. All right, we'll use one of my, no, I want a post-it note. Where, where is my big green, oh, ah, I think I see it. No, is that it? No, no. Oh, here it is. Okay. So we're going to give away my fairy treasures. The other print. She sent three. One for me and two for giveaways. And y'all check her out on my fairy treasures, Angie Bell. This is one of her Native American warriors. And we already gave away one. So. Oh, my phone's not buried under that. Look. I'll, look. Look. I'm going to tilt it. Look. This is like... And at least an inch deep, guys. <laughs> uh, okay, so what we're going to do, all right, if I can get the camera steady. Again, this is how it works. Between 1 and 100, wait till I type in go. One number only, closest without going over, will win this print. On my fairy treasures Native American warrior and she does have these on her Etsy as far as I know and she's going to be putting some other stuff on there because we're going to make her <laughs> oh good it got your brain going Trina I'm glad my collage got your brain going <laughs> so wait till I type in the word go when you see numbers flying just put in a number okay because after I put in stop, that's it. So put your number in as quick as you can. I'm just letting my, my explanation catch up with the lag. Okay? And then we'll do a random dot org on my phone and pick another number. Let me I think I still probably have random dot org on there. I didn't even close that out. Let's see. Yep, it's still there. It's still there. So we're gonna we'll generate a new number. Don't look at the 92. That's the old number. We're going to generate a new number. Let me get my focus bank here. Come on. You can do it. Come on back. Come on back. <laughs> okay. I need more collage papers. Dee Dee needs more. 
Ah, uh, yeah, I got bins of collage. But you know, every bit of collage, whether you know, y'all send me something from Nat Geo or a calendar or just whatever, it's something new. You know, you're never gonna duplicate a piece of collage fodder. You know, you're just never gonna do that. So, all right, y'all get your numbers ready. I'm gonna type. Closest without going over. I haven't generated a number yet. We don't know what number it is yet. So I'll give you another 30 seconds or whatever. So yeah. Thanks for sharing your artwork with us, Angie Bell. And uh, yeah. If y'all missed the happy mail, if you're watching this set segment, I have a whole nother like hour and a half or more with happy mail. So y'all go watch that and it's awesome. Happy mail. So I'm just going to wait till I don't see anybody putting anything in and then I'll type in stop. Okay, I'm not seeing anything happening, so I'm going to type it in. Okay, so let's generate a number. All right, ready? Here we go. Generate, and we get four. Was there any, if everybody went over four, we'll generate a new number. Was there anybody with a tiny number? Let's everybody scroll back. The first person closest to four without going over. Because sometimes people have the same number, so it has to be the first person. Oh, good, Iffy. So let's see. Oh, I see a three. I'm trying to keep it scrolled. Let's see. Rain has three. Did anybody get four? Okay, so nobody had four. So it looks like it's you, Rain. Rain. Do I have your address, Rain? I think I do. Yeah, let me let me double check. Let me look in my box real quick. You are yeah. I have it, Rain. Unless you moved since you sent it to me, I have your address. Yeah, yeah, I have it. Yay, rain. Okay, so I'll put that on the back there. So I'll send this out. Congratulations, rain. Thank Angie Bell. Angie Bell's the one that sent them in, my fairy treasures. All right, guys. Well, I guess I'll head on out. It's one, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one. It's four hours. It's kind of a short day for me, actually. But uh, yeah, four hours. And uh, thanks, Bridgeton, for my baby, Bridgeton. Our BB. If y'all missed it. <laughs> Who's our BB? We have a baby, Bridgeton. A baby sock monkey. <laughs> so stinking cute. I can hardly stand it. And thanks, everybody else, for all the awesome happy mail. And Valerie for the pencils and all the awesome cards. Thanks, everybody. You're welcome, Eileen. Thanks, guys, for being here. We can keep going. I really gonna need to take. I gotta go eat. I really need to go eat something. I'm winding down. I can feel myself going. Boo. Let me go put this with the happy mail. So yeah, y'all check out Angie Bell. And then here's my collage. I'll take a picture of it and tweet it here in a minute, guys, so y'all can see it better. Okay. So I'll tweet a picture of that. All right, guys, thanks for being one more hour. <laughs> I, nah, I guess I need to go eat. I really do have to go eat, guys. So, but I might be gluing some more napkins down later because I really love these napkins. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you later. Bye.